The wintry weather this past weekend didn't slow down the mules on the court Saturday afternoon. The Muhlenberg men playing game one of the doubleheader, hosting Washington College in their second conference matchup of the season. The mules would take the lead from the start and never give it up, starting conference play at 2-0. Erica Rose has more. In today's conference matchup, both teams are coming in with the same overall record of 2-3. and three. But there's one difference. Muhlenberg won their first conference game, while Washington fell to Haverford. Now the Mules should be able to pull off the win today, and then they have one more conference game on Wednesday before 2 non. So they could start off at 3-0, and which would be a great way to head into their break. And in the first half, Muhlenberg coming out strong right from the whistle in all aspects of the game. Ryan Foster would get them on the board first from behind the arc. That would be the start of a 14-0 run for the Mules. He would also be their leading scorer. Then Spencer Liddick blocking shots, preventing Washington from getting their first basket until almost seven minutes in when Andrew Chambers hits the three. He would have 19 on the day for the Shoremen, but the Mules would answer back with the three, then get back-to-back -back fast breaks, making the score 25-7. Both teams would hit a few more baskets. Unselfish play from Brian Frankowski would put the Mules up 36-18. He would lead the assist with eight. Then the Shoremen would go on a 7-4 run to end the half 45-34. Second half, Washington coming out the way they ended, this time going on a 7-0 run, forcing two turnovers and capitalizing on both. They would come within four, but that would be the closest they ever get. The Mules would begin to extend their lead with Foster getting eight points in one minute, two of them from behind the arc, 57-43. The team would hit four out of five threes in the second. Peter Barnes would have a big game as well, pulling down rebounds and causing the fouls. He would have 10 on the day with nine rebounds, three assists, one block and a steal, and the Mules would trample over the Shoremen with a final 85-67. Our inside guys have been playing real well and consistent. Our outside guys have been getting good looks. They just haven't been going down for them. And tonight, of course, I thought they showed great mental toughness and shot the ball well early, which opened some things up for us. We played a little looser. We played with confidence. And most importantly, I think we really played hard. We had a couple good days of preparation. We always uh, have prided ourselves on our defense, and so far the season has been mediocre at best. So we came out today after a couple good practices of knowing what we need to do in order to shut them down, and it showed. Let's just talk about the overall way your team looked today, the way they played. Really unselfish. You had 18 assists and almost everyone getting on the board. No question about it. I mean, coaches always say that uh, it's a team win, it's a team effort, and it's a team game. But it's a cliche for a reason. It's true. Our seventh leading scorer had nine points tonight. That means six guys scored in double figures. Great balance. I told the guys in the locker room, I thought we got what we deserved by the way we played, but really the way we prepared. We had two great days of preparation coming into this game. Now that this one's over, we want to enjoy it, but we want to focus on getting that third one going into break. We need to do the same thing that got us those first two. We need to have two great days of preparation after a day off tomorrow, and then be ready to come out and just play hard on Wednesday night against the great Dickinson team. We know Dickinson's a good team. They always give us a good battle. Uh, I guess we go we go Wednesday, so we'll get two good days of practicing and hopefully get another win. On the scene from Muhlenberg College, I'm Erica Rose, 2 Sports.